doing Spider-Man things. I'm still getting used to that. Reminds me of when I used to call your dad at work. Sometimes I'd catch him on patrol, or he'd have to shout over sirens. You ever call when he was making a buck? He was taking in a felon who'd skip bail. The guy wriggled out of his cuffs and his pants to make a break for it. Your dad had to chase him down fifth. I was on the phone for the whole thing. No way, you serious? Serious. Best part, people took pictures and it made the bugle. <laughs> Your dad was not happy. Made him the butt of a lot of jokes at the station. But, <laughs> nice one, Ma. I did not mean to do that. Either way, awesome story. So what's up? Did you need something? No, I just wanted to hear your voice and make sure you're okay. I'll let you know. Bye, honey. Love you. Bye. Spider-Man. Excuse me. You need to look for Spider-Man. Hey, good to see you. Been telling everyone how you saved Spider-Man. Hey, kitty. You ready to swing, Spider-Cat? You two look great. Get out there and stop some crap. Oh uh, yeah, two. this is my kind of suit. Hmm. <laughs> look at that red. That Let's go, Spider-Cat. <laughs> this is definitely my kind of suit. Now that my mom knows about, you know. How much do you think I should tell her? It's like, should you tell her about every cracked rib and supervillain with a vendetta? That is tough. I never had to face that question with May. I worry if I'm too open, she'll stress out. But if I hold back, she'll stress even more. I don't know. Your mom's pretty good with stress. I mean, she did go toe-to-toe -to -toe with Roxanne. Talk it out. Find out how much she wants to know. And how much you're comfortable sharing. Yeah. Yeah, that's that's good advice. Every time I think I know everything about superheroing, bam, something new. Just wait till you gotta figure out health insurance. Let me tell you, premiums get nuts after three freak accident detached retinas. Something to look forward to. All right, thanks, Pete. Take it easy. Let's go, Spark Cat. So freaked out when we get a time capsule in this cave. The place still gives me the creeps. Mm, it does. Mom made this pique hot sauce for Finn's birthday. Abuela's recipe, I think. God. Finn put it on everything. Always said, if it doesn't hurt, you're not doing it. That looks horrifying. Hey. Remember those time capsules I told you Finn and I hid? I found them. And, whew, talk about a head trip. Yeah, I bet that'd be intense now. I wanted to bury them in Prospect Park, but it was her idea to put them around the city. <laughs> she always tried to push me out of my comfort zone. What do you think she would have said to you now that you found them? Good job, but I would have found them faster. I like her taking the opportunity to dunk on you. <laughs> That's how she wanted. Miles, hey, do you have a basin wrench? Um, maybe in my dad's stuff. I could check. Yeah, would you? You may wouldn't be happy, but I'm gonna replace the lime green guest bathroom sink. 76 was a beautiful year, but it's time to move. You need any help? I'm happy to swing out to Queens. Nah, this is therapeutic. I'm doing full-scale bathroom renovation. Now that sounds incredibly boring. Just wait. Once you're an old, grizzled Spider-Man like me, you'll get hyped about home repair. Anyway, thanks for covering Manhattan while I'm in DIY mode. Hey, my pleasure. What's the point of having two Spider-Men if they don't coordinate work schedules? Heard that. All right, I should get back to it. Find that wrench, let me know. Can do. Later, Pete. All right. Hey, a store's being broken into near you. Pete's training. PSU, Hallowed Halls. My alma mater. Have I ever told you 
what happened when I started school here? Step up to the prompt and live the story for yourself. Oh, this is gonna be fun. Well. Prepare for a serious <laughs> fight, that's it. On the very first day of class. Okay. Serious fight. I'd always be a kid from Queens at heart, but I could carry that strength anywhere. To Manhattan, to the West Coast, heck, even to Sicaria. Weird to think, but I owe it all to an old man in a bird costume. I should really write him a thank you note. Anyway, nice work, Miles. Holographic spider training officially complete. That was some great training. Kudos to Pino for clean combat design. Oh yeah. It's pretty dope. Well, 
make it. It's think so blocky. Do it. I kind of think Danica for the tip. So blocky. What? This is a billboard. We'll be fine. Your dad and I fell asleep listening to this sound every night when we were kids. It's got a good beat. Okay. Something rhythmic that was around when dad and uncle Aaron were little. behind me. Spider-Man's way buffed. Well, you don't need to be buffed to be Spider-Man. Something mechanical? Doc is cratering. That did you huh. There's a subway line near here. There's a subway line near here. Huh? I've seen that. Nah, getting too far away. I'm not gonna find it over here. enough to record it. I need something else. Dad and I grew up not far from here, before we moved to Brooklyn in high school. Hearing the clatter of the wheels, the squealing when the trains turn or stop, always makes me think of me and your dad's late night talks. Mostly about what we wanted to be when we grew up. I wanted to be a space agent. Dad's dream changed. Doctor, firefighter, social worker. But he always wanted to help. Yeah, sounds like Dad. Hey, young blood. You got almost everything you need to track. You just unlocked the spot where you can find the last piece. Hope it works for you. Place where I fought him? Doesn't his memories, Uncle Aaron? of his lair, the lab, the basement thing. Sequencer, sampler, vintage. Oh, 
has to be him and dad's equipment. Yep. He was always way better at guitar than me. He used to come to our place for dinner all the time. Guess he never learned to cook. Should keep you safe. Use the sounds of the city. Use the sounds. Frequency lock? <laughs> Something new every day. Hey, kid. Hope the suit fits. You asked why me and your dad stopped talking. He was investigating the problem. It led him to my clients. People like Simon Krieger, Wilson Fisk. Dad couldn't afford to make enemies like that. Not with you and Rio in the picture. So I told him. Hoped he'd back off, and he did. For good. He didn't want me around. Didn't want you to turn out like me. Hope this suit helps you be better. Take care, Spider-Man. Thank you, Uncle Aaron. For everything.